windsock doesn't show intensity, just direction. Why? <laughs> I know. That's like the whole point of a windsock. <laughs> right? It's just always flapping at full gale force all the time. Might as well just have a weather vane. Yep. Oh, man. All right, for some reason, my uh, my glass on the co-pilot is already broken. That's okay for me. <laughs> <laughs> From the line snapping and smashing your windshield. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Or it was a crew chief throwing stuff at me yeah. because he had to repair the, the rope. All right. So, I'm ready to go? Yeah, me too. Lead the way. Okay. I'll follow you. So, uh, yeah. Course is like 82... Hey everyone. So a few months ago now, I had the opportunity to go for a flight with somebody named Nazra Du. Now him and his friend Snaketooth invited me to come fly on the Rotorhead server. This is a server that I, have, I had been familiar with, I had known about, and I had been planning to at some point log on and give a try, but I'd just never gotten around to it, so this seemed like a perfect opportunity to do that, and both of them were fairly familiar with how the server operated, so I had a couple of guides essentially to lead me through what we should and shouldn't be doing. So initially, I kind of expected this to be like an hour long and, you know, try out a few different things that the server had to offer. But it ended up being over three and a half. We flew until it was pitch black in the middle of the night on the server. And of course, that was when we decided in our infinite wisdom that it would be a good time to switch away from base building and hauling supplies to go and search and rescue for downed pilots in the dark. So today's video is going to be largely a highlight reel of that flight. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. I want to say thank you to Nazradu for inviting me out to do this. Um, if you guys haven't heard of him, he runs a YouTube channel very similar to my own. A lot of helicopter content, tutorials, that kind of thing. Hip and hind content, definitely worth checking out. Uh, links will obviously be below in the description. Also, a big thank you to Snaketooth. The more I watch this, the more I realize that this video is essentially the adventures of Snaketooth and friends. Those are just trees that I'm seeing pop up. Yeah. Direct surrounding of the farm looks kind of clear to me. Just start slowing down. Ah, I forgot that. <laughs> yeah, coming in at 250 is a little hot. No problem. I got a brake shoot on the crate. I would just drop it and <laughs> uh, Michael Bay style transformer will come out of it. <laughs> oh. What have you done? Nothing. Everything's fine. We're fine. We're, we're all fine here now. I do have to repair, though. Contact. The wheel was a little bit more damaged than I expected. <laughs> Alright. I'm just waiting for the fire extinguishers to pop right now. Oh, I'm shaking real bad. Alright, I will um, place my Contact. APC crate thingy kind of to the road. Okay. Because if there is something coming in, I will expect it to come down the road. Oh, and I should tell the gunners that they can shoot if they see something. That's a good idea. Oh, one mile. Uh. All right. Uh, getting down nice and gentle. Two meters per second. Mm -hmm. Oh man, they still think my engines are running. <laughs> if only <laughs> they knew. <laughs> what engines? You mean these melted piles of metal? Okay, cargo unhooked. Nice. Great. Nicely done. I'm watching yeah, you right now. I have to bring down the second crate also <laughs> that I've loaded internally without crashing. Where is that crate? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I totally forgot to load the second crate internally. No problem. And drop crate. Cargo unhooked. We'll drop the troops somewhere there in the city, maybe. Okay. 
I think we have an enemy to our left, somewhere down that uh, tree line or somewhere. But it looks good to me. Kind of safe. Just... Okay, we've got the APC set up here. You want my troops in the same spot? Yeah, how you like, or in, on the other side of uh, town, however yeah, sure. you like. I'll go put them on the other side. Watch it, I'll smash into you. I mean, uh, you're eight. asking the totally wrong guy. I have no idea about uh, logistics, and I'm always thinking I do everything wrong, and wherever I place it, it's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure that there is necessarily a wrong unless you know what the enemy's going to do, right? Sure. That's fair. And you're not uh, only uh, fighting stupid AI here, because sometimes the red commander will get their hands on the red troops. And... <laughs> Oops. Yeah. I was not paying enough attention. I am now a fireball. <laughs> oh, I can rescue you. That's great. I mean, I feel a little bit alone now, and that makes me sad. Well, then come and rescue me. I will. Yeah, I you can have there. nice, uh, nice company in the cockpit there. But your helicopter is not looking too bad without the fire. Mm-hmm. Just it's missing tape some parts. the tail on the back, and I, I think it's good to go. Oh yeah. I'll just shave the blades down so they're all the same length. It'll be fine. That helicopter now is burning again. I think the troops are trying to uh, prevent the enemy from capturing it. <laughs> and the third fire. <laughs> it's, it's very exciting. We just got to see like every feature. Yeah. It's... So, Snake with no pressure, but uh, the whole operation is based on your idea to bring that repair crate. <laughs> yeah, oddly enough, much, much harder than I thought it would be. <laughs> All right. I mean, this crate is gigantic, by the way. This is like a shipping container. You want to it's build a it. tent and a fuel depot. There has to be some stuff in there. Have you ever had a tent, man? They're small. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm living in a city. <laughs> I'm watching Snake Tooth right now, and the cargo looks fine on my screen. Yeah, uh, it must be a bug, because this is nuts. Nope, there it goes. It's just, it just, just snapped. Just well, I suggest we all try this now because I am. All right. Yeah. Let's I do am it. having a hard time believing that this is. So then it's up to Minak. Just yeah. my flying. This is crazy. What is? What was that? Now that I see the situation, that they are so uh, much in the south. Does this far make any sense at all? Despite the fact that we do uh, scientific research on how to get that crate there. <laughs> I mean, that's the primary benefit of this farp is it's going to be a research station. Okay, great. cool, cool, cool. We're going to measure the thickness of the Arctic ice. <laughs> Yay, I'm getting repaired. Well, 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 look who it is. It's a me. All right. Will we then make it a race? <laughs> that seems uh, like a recipe frankly, for disaster. I could <laughs> yeah, do this when I was taking my time. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, we can we can also load internal ones now. It takes two internal ones. But I think we should try the external one a few times and see if any of us can make it happen. I'm not close enough to a logistics site. Where do uh, I need to be? I am. So, uh, oh, maybe head a little closer to the center of the airport. 
uh, closer to the um, the little blue airport marker on the map, I think. Repair. There it is. Yeah, at my spot it works. Okay, so it's it's probably these 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 buildings like right near this little tower here. Mm -hmm. Uh, to last because that's huge. Apparently, I'm not close enough where I am. Okay. I need to move over like 30 feet. Oh, what about fuel? Let me check. I'm s what? <laughs> I'm still not close enough. All right. Okay, so maybe it's more to the center. Yeah. Three meters off the ground. I mean, it yeah. could be that some guy spawned too many crates and the people are pissed now at the airport. <laughs> they have to pack those things all the time. Just complaining about me destroying crates over and over and over again? Not me. Can't tell if there's an issue with my... Oh yeah, it just went crazy. It just went crazy. It just out of nowhere. It just swung super hard. <laughs> okay. It didn't break though. It's now it's. Oh yeah, it's just going absolutely wild for me here. Let's see if I can. So I think the game thinks that the cable snapped. Um. But it didn't come off. But I heard the sound. So I think it just finally decided that it pities me enough that it's just gonna let me let me get the job done. <laughs> so I'll just come and join you and making making some progress. So as lo as long as I don't have to touch my controls, I feel pretty confident that I can get get there. You get a lot of compliments, even if you do a really shitty job here. <laughs> it's good for the confidence. Yeah, yeah. I think people are really happy just to have a place where they can fly helicopters with other oh, helicopter enthusiasts. Yes, yes. You know, I it, think so too. Yeah. Because there's nothing it's like. Very nice. Not like the prep and the takeoff and the trip out to somewhere only to have some hornet roll in with a bunch of J-cells and just nuke the whole thing. Your crate's gone. Yeah, if you have a look at your, I don't know, 5 o'clock or something, um, you see my crate in the air floating. So it's all on you now. Yeah. I'm, I'm almost there. I wasn't even fast. I was going 120 or so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. I want to go grab, grab some uh, internal fart repair grades because I, frankly, I don't know if I'm going to be able to slow down without tearing this thing off. Hmm. Oh, I'm having a rare moment of, of serenity here. All right. Need to find you. Ah, there you are. No, <laughs> you're all probably catching up with me, right? Yeah, I think I'm already in front of you. Maybe, totally. Not really. No, I see you. I see you all. You're you're like on my uh, four o'clock. All right, I should be really close to you now, but I still don't see you. What's your altitude? I'm a little. I'm a little low, and I'm I'm directly at your nine o'clock. I don't know what my like AGL altitude is. Oh, my no, radar I altimeter you. is broken. Yeah, yeah. No, right there, you're close. I'm like looking way off in the distance. Now you're right there. Yeah, I'm very stealthy with that giant box. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Off the bottom <laughs> of the helicopter. <laughs> it's actually a cloak. Uh, it's a cloak generator. Oh yeah, if I look at my like uh, my cargo view, it's it's just swinging like an an insane amount. Meanwhile, on my screen, it looks fine. Well, what's crazy about this is um, it would be easier to just build a new FARP 
right next to the old farp. <laughs> like, can you get those from anywhere? You can you can get new farp crates anywhere. Oh, well, yeah. Then that would be way easier than trying to do this. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna mention this in the issue channel because. Um, yeah, now that you say that. My guess is that this shouldn't be as hard as it is. It, it should be difficult, but it shouldn't be this difficult. That's yeah, I mean, given the choice between fixing an old one and building a new one, fixing an old one ought to be the easier choice. Yeah. I'm going to switch to the, to the moving map here. Was... Okay, it's, it's like way off to my right, so... Really have to. Oh God, no! I touched my rudder pedals, and they're not very good rudder pedals. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to just control direction here using the bank. I can see. I'm gonna try to. You're I'm sinking. gonna try to slow down here. I can't believe I'm moving laterally this fast and. I'm not weather veining here. How fast am I going here? This... Oh, uh -oh. and there it goes. There it Just goes. tore off. No. No, God! No, God, please, no! I was like barely touching it. No way. Oh, yeah, no. that's, that's, that's not cool. That's not a cool experience. No. No. We could do this. We could do this flight at 250 knots, uh, with without even breaking a sweat with that internal crate. Yep. Yeah. But Max just built a new farm. Yeah, and I would I would suggest we go Aleppo Airport first. Yeah, let's head to Aleppo. All right. So, after failing miserably to repair the strategically irrelevant FARP, I decided it might be a good idea to move ahead to something that was somewhat more relevant. And this one was an already established FARP just outside of the Aleppo airport area. Uh, the FARP had nothing at it yet, and we decided it might be a good idea to deploy some defenses. And if you've been on the Hoggett servers, you kind of know how this goes already. You land at a logistics site, you uh, drop a crate, then you can load it, or in this case, you can sling it as well, take it to where you want it, unpack it there, and away you go. And you can set up SAM sites and AAA and all kinds of various defenses. I'm pleased to report that we were more successful with this particular endeavor, though not without incident, as you'll see. All right, um, search radar is constructed. And the launcher is also built. Cargo unhooks. That does this up fly like I'm, I'm gonna feel so good slinging this crate right now i have yeah i have the the golden touch after that that repair crate <laughs> oops you know track radar deployed as well did that over the radio uh you can bring one internal and one external so I, yeah i'd bring two all right I'm i think we have two. order radar stuff needed uh yep. actually both right Got both radars and the control center. Cool. We're we're also gonna need a an ammo truck. Yes. Yeah. And I believe yep. that's that's also two crates. I can go get that. 
All right, so I will do two more launchers, and with the ammo truck, we're done, okay. I think, right? Beautiful. That's fast. That's so. yeah, super fast. Yeah, with three people, things go a lot quicker. I think so. If we can build some artillery, the artillery will automatically fire if they're if the enemy is in range of any of our units, and okay. we want to build the artillery right near uh, some. We, we definitely want the artillery to be right near some uh, ammo truck, because it will run out of ammo and it will be just constantly firing at enemies. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh, when you realize your generators haven't been turned on and you've just been flying around like that. <laughs> Is that why your Doppler uh, wasn't working? Didn't you have the problem with an autopilot? I, I've been flying without the autopilot and without generators. <laughs> I thought I had turned my generators on when I left the airport, or I thought I had turned my autopilot on, but I guess not, because I didn't even have my generators on. Amazing. That's incredible. <laughs> I mean, it's it's got to be a, a testament to either my my skill or my complete lack of skill <laughs> that I don't even notice when my autopilot channels are on. Well, I mean, in a way, it mostly just powers avionics and stuff inside the cockpit. And if you're flying properly, you're really not looking inside much. So seems fine to me. Oh, good. Why am I not just doing this flight in ground effect? As we learned, you are the guy that loves to be challenged. Yeah, oh yeah. By right. huge crates and all kind of crazy stuff. I, I will argue against the, the idea that I love that large crate somehow. <laughs> Uh, and then I, we should probably just build, uh, we should just probably build as much artillery as we can over here. Yeah, we can build two of these Fertina thingies. We can build two Fertinas, we can build, uh, I think a couple Smirches. Let's see here, let me just check. On the ground. Really? Release, cargo unhooked. Should be able to build that now. Oh man, I just unhooked my cargo by accident. Dang Oops. it. Ooh, and I almost just VRS in place. That would have been not great. Drop yeah, cargo, what, you, drop what you don't have to forget is that it's a, I don't know, 40 miles flight if you die. <laughs> Alright, I'm on my way with a crate now. Do you think you could cut the sling line with the rotor blades? Interesting. Let's <laughs> find out. Ah, oh, you went over me. Ah. Darn. We'll have plenty of opportunities. Yeah. Exactly. What? I'm going to start bringing M109 crates over. Copy. I'll bring the last uh, artillery crate. Beautiful. Once we have the M109s over there too, we, we could we could uh, we could do some CSAR. There are a ton of downed pilots nearby. Great. Yeah, it's a good idea. Now we get beautiful lighting. Yeah. They've done such a good good job with the sky. Until Absolutely. you get really high up. Once the clouds actually reflect the sunlight, it'll look a lot better. Ooh, yeah. yeah. I'm excited for that. I mean, it was a little bit uh, anticlimactic when we found out on our A-10 flight um, that they don't illuminate when mm -hmm. you get back on the on the airport. Yeah. You, you will be black even though you're, you're in the lights. Drop the other crate here. Oh, oh. Can't, can't wait to get a proper collective. Have you ordered and one? Maybe. I haven't ordered it yet, but I just. And I'm, I'm, there I go. Ooh! Wow, Is I just saw fire? you rocket off into space. <laughs> um, 
It's shaking so hard I cannot hit the fire extinguisher. Oh, you're you're annihilated. Oh, you're, yeah. you're yeah, fully yeah, inflamed. Absolutely. absolutely. I'll just report myself on duty for CSR real quick. <laughs> Dang it. I can't. <laughs> 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 Reminder to check your uh, door gunner ROE. Thank you. Free fire. Oh right. no, power lines. Oh. <laughs> oh gosh, I think I just missed them. That was close. What the heck is that? There is a giant box. Just a floating rectangle. If I have my night vision on. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Okay. Does it just follow your view? It's just like over some lights off in the distance. If I turn on night vision, if I'm not looking directly at it, it's red. And if I look right at it, it's white. And it like resizes depending on how far up or down I'm looking. This is some kind of weird shader bug probably. Cool stuff. Always good to yeah. have it. All right. Now this is some search and rescue right here. No kidding. This is this is what it's meant to be like, I think. If only we could multi-crew. Oh, yeah, exactly. we would be so phenomenal as like as like a three-person yeah. multi-crew. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it'd be amazing. Haven't they promised that as a feature for the hip? They sure just have eventually. Yet. They'd like to do it. He's right down here. Contact. There he is. Have him pop smoke. See the smoke? I'm avoiding VRS. I'm going to crash. Uh oh. No, I'm actually okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, looking good, looking good, looking good. I'm okay. <laughs> Great. All right. Great. Let's do that again. Round. That's wow. That was close. Jeez, that was close. <laughs> There's a the smoke. All right. I'm gonna go sit down and pick him up. All right. Got so much lights on this guy. He must feel like a king. <laughs> All right, I'm going to land right beside you. Time to get in. One minute. How slow are you? Three seconds. Oh, perfect. <laughs> 